a hard line about working on Sundays. It's usually my only day off during the week, but today I am up and heading to Queensland Ballet for a teacher's workshop and bringing one of my staff members up. And I guess the problem with being a dance teacher is that most of the extra things you have to do, like professional development days, they're always run on a Sunday because there's no other day that we can we can all get together and do it. But um, anyway, I thought I'd bring you along to my little day at Queensland Ballet today. Um, I'm not sure how much I'm going to be able to film in there because um, they have a few strict rules about filming within their studios and of course I love to respect every studio's different rules. But um, I can definitely show you the front of the building and maybe morning tea. I want big posters in my studio like that size. Can you leave because you're way too cool? No. What's that? This is the equipment. I want this in my home. But maybe with like Prince. <laughs> Prince. Well, that's Francois Klaus. So, so the equivalent, but in the he's the ex-artistic director of Queensland Ballet. Yes, yeah, something. And um, um, and his wife, Robin White, was my ballet teacher. His wife's gorgeous. I love her. Oh my god, it's a great print though. These are all the little bars that they sent home to the company members during COVID. I think they're really cute. I want one. There's a seniors ballet class going on in there. That's why I love Queensland Ballet. Very empty Queensland Ballet on a Sunday. Turn around, show me. Show me your cupping. Oh, it does look like a hickey. I was just saying how how inclusive there will no longer be free. I love it. I've just realised so my, my low level. My low level is gone. Me. You're not quite I'm on the indicator. I've got a Obviously. laminated one. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. What'd you get in your goodie bag? Lots of goodies, mate. Huh? Mm. Mm. Towel. It's a ballet towel for my adult ballet classes. <laughs> so wet. Really helpful. Kind of key ring in here somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, I like a good key ring. Queensland ballet. Nice. Okay, let's go to lunch. Yes. <laughs> I always like to burn some essential oils during the morning classes because I feel like it just makes the room smell so nice and it helps the beautiful adult ballerinas relax. I love this little burner. So good. And it has a very cool light. Blue, red, green. I'm feeling this one today, like a deep blue. So I hope you enjoyed coming to Queensland Ballet with me on Sunday. Um, that was fun, just to film a little sneaky peek. Um, it's now Tuesday. I've just finished putting out the bars to get ready for our morning classes. As you see, I've got some essential oils burning, which is always nice, helps everybody relax. Now I bought these new bike pants from Lululemon and they're really short, they're like a bike pant. So I, I don't know how I feel about them. So I put a skirt on over the top. See, they're super short. One of my beautiful ballet skirts by Demi Point Dancewear, who's a client of mine, a beautiful adult ballerina. Anyway, I'm feeling it. I think it's nice. I never wear skirts whilst teaching adult ballet, so I bet you everyone's gonna be like, ooh, George is wearing a skirt. <laughs> but I do wear um, skirts to the little kids' classes. I think I'll leave it on for this morning. Bluebird. <laughs> Love it. Look at that detail. Wow. I was going to get Virginia to tell everybody how she started Demi Point Dancewear. At your insistence, actually. At my insistence, yes. Yeah. But what did you start doing? I started making skirts just for me because being a curvier woman in dance, it was really hard to find skirts or dancewear that really fitted and flattered. And then we had a very close friend of ours, Kathy, who bought me some fabric and said, please make me a skirt. She and did. It kind of escalated from there into over a period of two years, you sending me photos of tutus and saying you need to be making these. Yeah. And you wore me down over two years. So. I know, and I forced you to do a tutu making course. And look at this. 
It is stunning. Absolutely beautiful. Um, what's your Etsy store name? My Etsy store is Demi Point, point with an E, dancewear. I'm about to switch international shipping back on, yes. Yeah. Awesome. Woohoo! International shipping because you've got so many clients overseas. Yes, I do. It's awesome. Servicing all the adult ballerinas of the world. A twirl. A twirl. A twirl. A pirouette. Thank you. Is that a Virginia skirt, Tomiko? Yes. Yeah, I thought so. Thank you. <laughs> Very nice, Kristen. I give us a twirl. Love it. There's a singing lesson going on upstairs in the upstairs studio, so if you hear a beautiful voice in the background, that's what's going on. But I love how this vlog is turning into a love and appreciation of boutique dancewear and skirts, which is really sweet. Um, you just met Virginia, my lovely Demi Point dancewear. I love a business that's born out of a business, which is what hers is. Anyway, I was thinking this week, because of the whole topic of... Oops, let's try that again. But yes, I was thinking about something that happened to me as a young dancer. I had a ballet teacher who, let's just say, she wasn't the loveliest of people. Um, she wasn't my favorite ballet teacher growing up. But I do remember walking over to the bar with this new skirt that my mom had bought me and I felt like I looked pretty amazing. And, <laughs> and my ballet teacher said to me, Georgia, why are you wearing that skirt? Is it hiding all the food you ate on the weekend? I know, awful. Awful, awful, awful. And I just thought to myself when I remembered that story, perhaps that's maybe one of the reasons why I actually don't wear skirts. I'm not really that kind of ballet teacher. I'm more of a sporty spice Lululemon type. <laughs> I've never really been the kind to show up in skirts and leotard. Who knows, maybe I'm a bit scarred, but I think that's an important reminder that as a teacher, your words can be just so incredibly important and that comment she made is just so untrue. Skirts are beautiful and all my ballet students wear skirts and I especially love seeing in my adult open classes all the beautiful colors and patterns and it just brights up the room and it looks beautiful. I'll pop a clip in here so that you can see what I mean and see it just looks beautiful. So I think it's just a nice reminder for myself too that as a teacher your words can be really powerful. But it's important to also note that not all ballet teachers are bad. There are some amazing ballet teachers and I certainly had some amazing ones um, growing up. You would have heard me say before that Robin White, Francois Klaus, the ex-artistic director of Queensland Ballet, his wife Robin was my ballet teacher growing up for a period of time and she was so supportive and so lovely and to this day, one of my favorite teachers that I had. I actually love everything that Queensland Ballet do at the moment. After dinner. Oh my god, so good. This one was salted caramel. Let love in, guys. Let love in. <laughs> in the form of a chocolate. Hi. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what are we doing today? <laughs> Maybe Dean will tell me. He's all over it. Have fun, okay? Hey. So it's kind of funny because this vlog has sort of come full circle. Last Sunday, I was at Queensland Valley doing a PD day and this Sunday, they're at my studio running some of their awesome workshops for younger students. It looks like they're having lots of fun. I won't be able to show you because student privacy and all that. Anyway, happy Sunday. I hope you enjoyed this week's vlog. Next week we are in ballet exam mode. So I'll probably bring you along and show you what it's like running ballet exams during COVID times. And um, make sure you hit subscribe, like, share. I'm having a lot of fun putting these vlogs together.